Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been thinking about making a passive solar heater. And today I'd like to show you my attempts at doing that. So the materials are going to be wood and polycarbonate and then a mesh or screen for the interior. I've got some metal L brackets here caulk and then screws. Follow along with the uh, dimensions in the ebook below this video. Now to get started I'm going to make the large part of the box first. This is going to be a dual chamber heater so uh, we'll get to that in just a moment but I'm going to use these L brackets here as the corner pieces to this heater. Kind of hold this thing together. So the first step that I've done is I took the little L brackets here and just bound the corners up of the box. Each is the same. So the next step I'm going to take these pieces here and put them in the middle so that the middle chamber separator can be installed. Now before I put this middle piece in, I'm going to go ahead and put the back on here. Now the base is done. The next part is to put together the 90 degree piece that will actually go into the window. Alright, the outer box of the top piece is now installed. Next I'm going to take this piece and put it here for the back. The back is a little too short here on the top piece and then this piece is the same way, just a little bit too short. Then the middle piece in here should extend all the way up to the top. So I'll have to um, cut those um, a little bit longer next time. Now it's time to put our dark screen on the inside to absorb more heat. Okay, I've cut a piece of this screen out and 
I don't have my staple gun or paint. So later I'm going to paint this piece black and then probably even put a second piece of this screen on here to make sure that it is um, it has lots of surface area to absorb all kinds of heat. So um, I want this thing to be as efficient as possible. But for now, I'm just going to put some screws in here so we can test this thing out. Okay, the screen is now put in here with some screws, just temporary of course. Now it's time to put on our polycarbonate. Now, I don't know if you can read this or not, but down here at the bottom, let's see. right here, some words. Gives you the name of it, gives you the size, but anyway, right here it says, this side UV. So, what that means is that this thing has a ultraviolet coating on this side, which is supposed to prevent yellowing like a lot of plastics do. So let's see if we can get this to fit in here. It's going to be a pretty tight fit. Now whenever I actually do get this ready for permanent installation, it'll have um, caulking to fill like uh, these gaps here and stuff. But anyway, so here we go. Here's the basic finished product. So this piece right here will go into the window. So of course you can angle these 45 degrees to make it more efficient. But this will go in the window and then air will come into this part up here circle around the inside, be heated by the sun on this side, and then come back out this top part, and there will be, of course, the divider here in the middle all the way, so he can't come up and down here. So, let's take this outside and give it a test. All right, I've set up the box outside, and it's about 38 degrees out here, maybe. I've got this uh, thermal laser thermometer. We can, let's see, it says 35 out here. And so if you push on here, thing, 39 or so, but here, let's see, 42, let's see if I can get, Six. So, I don't know, it's just a, a good first test, I believe. It is 52, so it is warmer in there. But, I think I'm going to have to do some more work. The reason it's not in the window is because it's not made for this building. And this is not uh, long enough to fit across this brick. But anyway, um, I'm pleased enough. So the things I have to fix on this are, don't use cardboard for the middle piece, of course. Then I'm going to use caulk around all of the edges to hold this in well. It's right out here. So anyway, that's just a, um, a video to show you what I'm working with right now. No real results yet, but whenever I get this thing airtight and put into the building, it should uh, have some pretty good results. So I'll keep you updated on the progress of the passive solar heater. See you next time. Bye.